let's look at training evaluation designs. This discussion of evaluation designs begins by identifying the alternative explanations that the evaluator should attempt to control for. Threats to validity refer to factors that will lead an evaluator to question either the believability of the study results or the extent to which the evaluation results are generalizable to other groups of trainees and situations. The believability of study results refer to internal validity. These characteristics can cause the evaluator to reach the wrong conclusions about training effectiveness. An evaluation study needs internal validity to provide confidence that the results of the evaluation, particularly if they're positive, are due to the training program and not to another factor. Because trainers often want to use evaluation study results as a basis for changing training programs or demonstrating that training does work, it's important to minimize the threats to validity. One way to improve the internal validity of a study result is to first establish a baseline or pre-training measure of the outcome. Internal validity can be improved by using a control or a comparison group. The Hawthorne effect refers to employees in evaluation studies performing at a high level simply because of the attention they're receiving. A random assignment refers to assigning employees to the training or comparison group on the basis of chance alone. A number of different designs can be used to evaluate training programs. The pretest post test refers to an evaluation design in which both pre-training and post-training outcome measures are collected. The pretest post test with comparison group refers to an evaluation design that includes trainees and a comparison group. Time series refers to an evaluation design in which training outcomes are collected at periodic intervals both before and after training. The strength of this design can be improved by using reversal, which refers to a time period in which participants no longer receive the training intervention. A comparison group can also be used with time series designs. The time series design is frequently used to evaluate training programs that focus on improving readily observable outcomes such as accident rates, productivity, and absenteeism that vary over time. The Solomon four-group design combines the pretest, post-test comparison group and the post-test only control group design. There is no one appropriate evaluation design. An evaluation design should be chosen based on an evaluation of factors.